So many of you are looking for fulfillment where it can never be found. You are looking for fulfillment in things, possessions, money, recognition. You are looking for fulfillment in another person, praise from a parent, love from another person, a well done from the world. But here's the problem. You can never find it outside of you. It can only be found within you. All the happiness and joy you could ever hope for and more, it is within you now. The truth is, we don't need all those other things to complete our life. We don't need anything outside ourselves to be happy right now. Think back to a time in your life. You didn't have those things you seek, but we're still happy. Perhaps when you were a child, perhaps not too long ago. The reason why you were happy without those things is down to what you chose to focus on. Your focus wasn't on what was not there. It was on what was there, and happiness is always there if you choose to focus on finding it. We tend to always look for happiness outside ourselves, but we all know that it doesn't come from there. Whatever we perceive as reality becomes our reality. If you listen to the world and the opinions of others, you may well come to believe that happiness is only gained once you make money or get that nice car, that great house. Why do we want those things anyway? Why do we want the car, the house, the money, that perfect person? All of it without exception we want because we believe getting it will make us better. We believe it will make us feel better, make us feel happier. Don't get dragged into the expectations of society. You don't need this and that to be happy and complete. What you need is always within you. It never goes away. You are complete right now. Look within you, feel the truth that is. You can decide to be happy right now. Find something to be grateful for. Choose to lift others up. Give attention rather than seek it. Find your life's purpose and set goals that light the spark within you. Believe in yourself. Believe you deserve it all. Believe your life has meaning. There is nothing you cannot accomplish when you are free from the burden of looking for things outside of yourself to fulfill you. Just know you have the answers. Trust your intuition. Trust everything will be okay in the end. Everything will be great in the end. Everything will be magical in the end. It's all within you. It's called belief. It's called faith. Faith in yourself. Belief in yourself. It seems these days, less and less people take responsibility for their life. It seems less and less people master their emotions. They don't run their life. They allow life to run them. Their problems are blamed on everyone and everything, but they never take responsibility for their own life. Most importantly, they never take responsibility for how they feel. Does life happen to you or does life happen for you? The answer you give that question will shape your life. Do you believe everything happens for a reason that benefits you in some way? 
Or do you believe life is hard and you are at the mercy of a little thing called luck? What if every painful experience in your life was actually sent to benefit you? To make you stronger? To make you wiser? To make you better? What if the challenge you are facing was sent to make you stronger? What if the difficult person was actually sent to teach you something? Compassion, patience, a reminder of how not to treat people. What if the loss you experienced was sent to make you appreciate life more? The way we feel about everything in our life is our life. The truth is, every human being decides how they are going to live their life. Because we all decide what meaning we give to each and every moment in our lives. We do not decide what shows up. But we do decide how we show up. We do not decide the circumstances that arrive each day. But we absolutely decide how we are going to react to each circumstance. There's no such thing as actual reality. There's only our perception of reality. Think about that. There is no such thing as reality. There is only your version of it. If you think about anything or any event, your version of it or your opinion of it will be completely different to many other people. Two people could attend the same event, see the same things, speak to the same people and leave with absolutely opposite thoughts about that event. If they liked the people they spoke to, if they enjoyed the event, how could this be? It was the same event. It's an interpretation. The meaning both people gave the event is different. That meaning is based on a life of conditioning, a life of absorbing others' opinions and their form in our own. But the point is, we decide that meaning. Bob Marley said, some people feel the rain, others just get wet. The same is true for everything in life. Some people drudge through life. They get by. Others live life. They make the most of it. They appreciate the little things, which makes a huge difference in their lives. But don't worry about what other people do. What do you do? Do you appreciate all the good in your life? Do you look for the good each day? Do you wake up expecting great things to come every day? Do you feel compassion when someone is acting in a way that is not to your standards? Do you believe every tough moment in your life was sent to make you stronger and in some way improve your life? Every meaning you give to everything in your life makes your life. Choose empowering meanings because the better your meanings, the better your life. The stronger your meanings, the stronger your life. It's our decisions not our conditions that control our lives and our destiny. I believe in miracles. I believe I am destined for greatness. I believe I deserve it all. I believe in miracles. I believe today will be the greatest day of my life. I believe today will be magical. I believe in kindness. I believe great people will come into my life. I believe miracles are on the way. I believe in myself. I believe. I believe there is nothing I cannot be, nothing I cannot do, nothing I cannot have. I don't believe in limitations. I believe I am limitless. I don't believe in lack. I believe in the power of my thoughts and beliefs. 
I don't believe in bad vibes. I believe in good vibes. I don't believe in luck. I believe luck comes after you have done the work and you let the universe deliver the order. I believe and that is why I achieve. I believe and therefore anything is possible. I believe it's important that we are always fully ourselves, even if it means we don't fit in with other people, because when we are not truly ourselves, it's impossible for us to be happy. It's impossible for us to be fulfilled. So when you're hanging with people that you really don't fit with and you get that feeling deep down, that's your inner self telling you you're not comfortable, which means you're not happy. So it's super important that we are always, always fully ourselves. Be true to you. See, no one can tell you what a successful life is. No one can tell you what a great life is. And no one can tell you how to be happy or, or what you should or shouldn't be doing with your life. No one can. Because you, are unique. What success is for another may not be success for you. What a great life is for another may not be so great for you. What lights up another may dim your light. The only way you can be happy in this life, the only way you can be successful is if you be you. Now listen, the only way to get the most out of this life is to follow your own path to follow your intuition, to listen to your own heart. That's where the answers are. The answer to every question you need the answer for. So many people are unhappy in this world because they are living lives they don't want to live. So they can fit in or, or maybe someone completely different from them gave them advice on how they should be living. You are unique. You must follow your unique path. Be yourself. Now this doesn't mean there isn't useful information out there. There's so many great teachers to learn from. It simply means you only take what resonates with you. What you know will work for you. Get out of your head and get into your heart. Do the things that make you light up. Do the things that make you forget to check your phone. And more things that make you smile and more things that make you laugh like a little kid. More of the things that make you proud to be you. Be brave. You only get one shot at this life. One opportunity to live fully. One opportunity to create some magic. It's okay to say no sometimes. To, to say no with passion, with authentic certainty because you know what is best for you. Not everyone will get it. That's okay. The right people will walk the path with you and most won't even be able to resist it because someone who is genuinely and who is authentically loving life, doing exactly what they want to do, that person is infectious. Real passion is infectious. Wake up with passion every day. Wake up every single day and be no one but fully, 100%, you. If I could go back and give my younger self just one piece of advice, what would it be? Never give up. If I could give anyone just one piece of advice, what would it be? Never give up. It's so sad to see so many people give up on the life they want to live just because of the need to fit in. Fit in with parents, fit in with friends, fit in with society. Too afraid to dream of how great life can be because life and others have offered plenty of examples of what can go wrong. 
plenty of examples of how hard life is, how much of a struggle life is. Well, I don't buy that. I believe everyone is capable of creating the life they want. I refuse to believe we are stuck. I refuse to believe in limitation. We are capable of anything if, only if, we believe that. Because with belief comes action. With belief comes possibilities. With belief, we are open to opportunities. When we refuse to give up on our dream, when we seek to find examples of those who have achieved the life they want, when we want to learn how we can make steps forward every day, when we are open to learn more, when we are willing to work for it, when we trust our intuition and follow our hearts, when we have the courage to trust the universe and reach for the sky, well, then anything is possible. If you believe it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, there's no doubt you can be it. Believe in yourself. Shakespeare said, our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. See, most people fear failure so much they don't even try. Therefore, they fail by default. Achieving anything of significance in life will never be easy. But the only way you can guarantee not achieving anything is if you never try in the first place. You do not know what is going to happen in the future. Anything can happen if you believe in yourself and are willing to learn how to make it happen. It might not happen right away. It might take you longer than expected. But if you are committed and maintain belief that in the end you will achieve your desired outcome, you will achieve your desired outcome. Never give up. Never, ever give up. I believe I can create my own reality because it's a strong belief to hold because when I feel good, more good things come. When I'm low, more low moments come. If you don't believe you create your own reality, then you're at the mercy of your circumstances, at the mercy of what happens to you. I couldn't think of much worse ways to live than always be reacting as if life has something against me. Life presents challenges to all of us. When we accept all things that arrive, not as good or bad, but as part of our journey, we can respond to all things with character and presence rather than react in hate or anger. When we know that life isn't holding something personal, but rather see it as a challenge given to the strong, we can deal with it better. Never give up. Never, ever give up. Happiest people don't have the best of everything. They make the best of everything. The happiest people don't always have the greatest financial wealth. They always have the greatest spiritual wealth. The happiest people don't always live in the best suburbs. They always live in the best states. Happiness is a mindset. Happiness is something we all can have because real happiness is never found outside of us. It is not found in possessions or wealth. Happiness is always and only found within us. It is a state of mind. They say happiness is the highest level of success. That couldn't be more true because everything we do is because we want happiness. The chasing of financial wealth is only because we think we would be happier and more people love us if we had the significance of being wealthy. The chasing of relationships is only because we think we would be happier if we had the ideal partner. Sure, 
There's nothing wrong with these things, but nothing can compare to genuine happiness. Nothing can compare to the inner peace you feel when you need nothing. The irony is, when you get to the place where you need nothing externally, you attract those great things into your life. The magic is, when you are happy, you attract more happy. Everything doesn't fall into place, and then you become happy. You find happiness and peace first, then everything falls into place. You can never control the events of life, but you can always control your response to them. You can always control your emotions. You can always control the meaning you give to each situation. Be the good you wish to see in your own life. Let it flow out of you first, and then it will flow back to you. Never forget. Your greatest measure of success will always be the level of happiness you feel consistently. Not money, not cars, not things, happiness. How happy are you on a consistent basis? Happiness will come like anything else. It will come if you practice it. One small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Start your day off with positivity. Fill your day with positivity. Spend time in gratitude. Make an effort to lift others. Be kind for no reason. Nothing makes you happier than lifting others up. Happiness comes when you have a positive expectation for your future. You've let go of your past and your intention is to live fully in this powerful present moment. To make the most of this day. Always remember this. Nothing is worth it if it does not make you happy. One day you'll be gone. Nothing you're stressing over will matter in the end. Be free from fear, worry, and doubt. The only thing that matters is your inner peace, your inner happiness. So smile big, dream big, get grateful for the magic in your life, and not only expect more to come, but when challenges come up, expect to handle them with courage, strength, and a powerful smile. Reasonable life can be achieved by anyone. An okay life, an okay job, okay relationships, anyone can have these. If you want a great life, you must commit to leading a great life. To doing things the majority do not do. Commit to thinking like the minority, not like the majority. Here are seven principles to live by for an abundant, happy, successful life. Number one, the first principle to live by is that one day you will be gone. It may be in 50 years, it may be in 50 weeks, it may be next week or even today. I don't know, you don't know, nobody knows. And rather than live in fear of this, we should embrace the fact that this life is short, short and unpredictable. Knowing this, we must live fully today. It is not a recipe for recklessness, rather a recipe to give your all today, to give your very best today in everything you do, to give your greatest energy to this day, to your family, to everyone you encounter today. It is a reminder for you to leave your best self in each moment. What if they couldn't speak to you tomorrow? What if you were gone tomorrow? What would they speak of you? What can you do that will leave a lasting, positive memory in the lives of everyone you come into contact with? It is about being lighthearted, knowing that in the end, none of this stuff matters. The only thing that ever matters is how you made others feel and how you felt in your own heart. It is about knowing that things can never go with you in the end. The spirit lives on, but the things, they die with your physical body. Remembering that we are going to die is the greatest reminder we can have in our daily lives because it keeps us focused on what's really important and what is real. Number two. There is nothing you cannot be, do, or have. 
If there has been someone, even one person on this planet that has done it before, that means you can too. It doesn't mean it will be easy, but it does mean it is possible. And as long as it is possible, you can work towards it. You can make a plan. Learn what needs to be done for you to live your craziest, most abundant life. A life most would consider impossible. But you know, impossible broken down states, I am possible. You know, impossible broken down is simply the process of making a plan and being willing to work for that plan. Principle number three, nothing is worth it if it doesn't make you happy. If it doesn't A, make you happy or B, make you better, don't make time for it. Now, before any of you jump on this, let me clarify. Nothing is worth it if it doesn't make you happy. That means if it doesn't make you happy now, while you're doing it, or it isn't going to make you happy as a result of doing it, it most likely is not worth it. Just about everything worth fighting for is going to require a real fight to win a great prize. You will have to suffer and sacrifice for almost anything worthwhile in life. But you should ask yourself this question about everything you do in your life. Does this make me happy? If the answer is no, ask yourself, will this sacrifice I am making lead to more happiness in the long term? If not, you should let it go. Number four, be yourself, always, no exceptions. It's such a tragedy to see so many people on this planet living lives they don't want to live just because they listen to other people who did the same. The only way you can live happy in this life the only way you can be successful is if you be you. Let me repeat that because perhaps it is the most important thing you could ever apply to your life. The only way you can be happy in this life, the only way you can be successful is if you be you. You will never be truly happy in life if you are constantly doing things to please others, to compete with others, or to be like another. You are unique, and that is your greatest gift. When you follow your own path, regardless if that fits in with others, you open up space for great things to enter your life. Compare yourself to no one. Compete with no other. Make your own decisions and it will lead to your greatest life. Principle number five, everything you need is already within you. In this world, we see endless examples of people who seemingly have it all, materially speaking, but they are empty inside. Things will never complete you. Other people will never complete you, regardless of what Terry Maguire says. There's a saying, Needing nothing attracts everything. When you come from a place of needing nothing, of seeking nothing outside yourself to make you happy, you open up space for more amazing things to enter your life. And if things don't come, that's fine. You don't need them. Real happiness is never found outside of us. It is not found in possessions or wealth. Happiness is always and only found within us. It is a state of mind. Never forget this. Happiness is the highest level of success. Do what feels good. The rest will follow. Principle number six. There's no room for toxic people, but there is never ending space for positive energy and positive people. Surrounding yourself with energy killers is one of the worst things you can do if you wanna live a happy, fulfilled, and successful life. Unfortunately, not everyone, including families and friends, will share the same positive energy you have. Some will take a while. Some might never get there. Let them run their own race, while you focus on living your own happiness. Those who are truly aligned with you will never hold you back from living the life you want to live. Don't ever dim your light to fit in with others. Shine bright. 
Those who see your spark will shine with you. Remember, you cannot live a great life, a happy life, if you surround yourself with toxic people. Principle number seven, whatever you focus on, you will find. If you search for negativity in this world, you will find plenty of it. If you search for hate, anger, violence, and sadness, you will find it. But the same is true on the flip side. If your only intention is to search for the good, you will find only the good. Whatever meaning you give your life becomes your life. It can be a failure or a lesson, heartbreak or character building. Life is against you or making you stronger. Because there is no such thing as reality. We choose our own reality by the meaning we give each moment in our lives. Make it your intention to look for the good in your life, to notice the good in others, to be grateful for what you do have, to see challenges as opportunities to show your true character. Remember, what you give your attention to will become your experience in life. Practice seeing the good in your life and in others. Think the best, expect the best, and always ask yourself, how can this benefit my life? Leave who you were, love who you are, and look forward to who you will become.